Are you stuck on the Windows login screen with an error saying something happened and your PIN isn't available? Don't worry, this is a very common issue on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And today, I will guide you step by step through two simple methods to fix it. Please watch carefully without skipping because every step is very important. Trust me, by the end of this video, you will definitely be able to log in again. So let's get started. On the error screen, press and hold the shift key on your keyboard. While holding it, click the power icon on the bottom right corner and select restart. Then click restart anyway. Now release the shift key. Now your PC will boot into advanced options. On this screen, click Troubleshoot. After that, click Advanced Options. Now click on Command Prompt. In the Command Prompt window, type net space user space administrator space forward slash active colon es and press enter. This will enable the hidden administrator account on your PC. Next, type regedit and hit enter. This opens the registry editor. In registry editor, click on HK local machine once. Then click file. After that, click on load hive. Now a new window will open. From the left side, select this PC. Then open the C drive where Windows is installed. Inside C drive, go to Windows. Then System32. After that, Config. In the Config folder, select the file named Software. And click Open. A box will appear asking for a key name. Here type M Software. Then click OK. Now under HK Local Machine, you will see the new folder M Software. Expand it. Now navigate to Microsoft. Then Windows NT. Next, Current Version. After that, Password List. and then device. Now on the right hand side find the key named device passwordless build version. Double click it. Now change its value from 2 to 0. Now click OK. Now go back to M software. Select it once and then go to the top menu. Now click on File. After that click on Unload Hive. And now click Yes. Now close Registry Editor and also Command Prompt. Click Continue to restart your PC. At the login screen, you should now see the PIN option available again. Enter your PIN and you will successfully log in to your desktop. If this method worked, great. But if not, don't worry. Method 2 will definitely solve it. On another working computer, insert a USB drive. At least 4GB or 8GB. Since I am just demonstrating, I will be showing you the process directly on this laptop. Now open your browser and search for Hirens Boot CD Space PE. Click the first link. From the top menu, click download. 
Now scroll down and click on hbcd underscore p underscore x64 dot iso file. When the save as option appears, you can save it anywhere you like. It's around 3.1 GB. So be patient until it downloads. Next, download Rufus from its official website. Scroll down and download the latest portable version. For example, Rufus 4.9.exe. Now save it wherever you want. Now open Rufus. Now under device, select your USB drive. Now under boot selection, click select. Now browse to the location where you downloaded the Hyrens ISO. Select it and click open. Now under partition scheme, select GPT. Now simply click start. If this pop-up will appear, simply click on OK. Then again click OK. No need to change other settings. Once the process is complete, your bootable USB is ready. Now insert this USB into the locked computer. Now restart the PC and enter the BIOS or boot menu by pressing the key for your system change the boot priority to USB. Commonly F1, F2, F10, F12 or Escape. Now Hyrens boot CD PE will now start loading. On SSDs it takes about 1 minute and on HDDs it may take 2 to 3 minutes. Once loaded you will see the Hyrens boot menu. Click Start. Then click on all programs. Next security. After that passwords. And then windows login unlocker. Now a new window will open. Select your user account that stuck with the pin issue. Right click on it. From here you have multiple options. You can reset password or reset pin code. Click Reset Password. Confirm with OK. And then also right click and choose Reset PIN Code. Once done, restart your computer normally. And now as you can see, Windows no longer asks for the old PIN or password. Now just click sign in. And you will be inside your desktop. Now go to settings. Then accounts. After that go to sign in options. Now first add a new password for your account. After that, go to the PIN section and create a new PIN. And that's it. These were the two reliable methods to fix the something happened and your PIN is not available problem in Windows 11 and Windows 10. If this tutorial helped, then please give it a like, share and subscribe our channel for more tech tutorials and fixes. Your support really motivates me. Thank you. Thanks for watching.